Good morning. It's May, and uh, one of my favorite things to do in the summer is to have an outdoor shower. And so I have some hot water solar panels that I bought on Craigslist, and I wasn't using them for anything else. So last year I set up a hot water shower, and I unhook everything during the winter so it doesn't freeze up. This morning I'm going to reconnect everything, so I want to show you how I set up my sun shower. And uh, so here we go. Uh, I have a rain barrel, and this is where I store the hot water. And then I have uh, a loop of hot water that's circulating through the hot water panels and back to the barrel. And I use uh, this little circulator pump. It's a 12 volt pump. And the electricity that I use to run the circulator pump is from this 12 volt solar panel. And that works really nice because if it gets dark out, uh, then the electricity stops flowing from the uh, the solar panel, turns off the pump, and it's not cooling your water because solar hot water solar panels they cool water just as good as they heat it up. So this is kind of a nice control system. If the sun goes out and it gets cloudy, then your pump is going to stop. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to hook up this loop that goes through the panel, and so. The way that I do it is at the bottom of the barrel over here, I have a spigot. And there's an arrow on my pump that says out. So this side of the pump is going to go to the green barrel. And then this side is going to go to the first tube that goes over to the first solar panel. Our solar pump down here. And the reason we put the pump at the bottom of the barrel is because the pressure in the barrel is always going to be priming the pump. You'll never have air going to the pump. So the water comes out of the barrel, the pump pushes it this way into the solar panel, goes through the solar panel. I have two, but they're just hooked together in the middle. You could just use one. And then this is the return tube. The hot water is going to come out of the panel, out of this tube, and then we have that going into the top of the barrel. And there's a reason for that too, because when the pump stops at night, we want the water to drain out of the solar panels and go into the barrel. If this went into the bottom of the barrel, then the water wouldn't do that. So you have to have it going in the top. Really important because panels can freeze really easy, even above 32 degrees. So like last year, they froze probably high 30s. And it's because at night, it radiates heat out of there. And if there's water in the copper tubes, they'll freeze up. Come on in. So now we're going to hook up the solar panel to the pump and we're going to start circulating the water that's in the barrel through the panels. So take the positive, hook it to the red lead, and then here's the black, negative, and you hear that kick on? So that's water coming out of the barrel, going up into the solar panel. And then pretty soon we should see some water come out of this side. Probably should keep filling the barrel with water too. Oh, look at that. Some dirty water at first. And the first water that comes out of here is going to be really, really hot. You can see the steam coming off of it because the panels have been sitting in the sun and they're really, really hot, so be careful of that. But now we're just going to let that hot water return to the barrel. And that's it. Basically, we have a hot water heater right there. All it is is just one 12 volt pump with a 12 volt PV panel and it's circulating through the barrel. Then the next part is how to get the hot water over to under the deck where the shower head is. So I'll show you that next. Another uh, piece of tubing and it goes into this drain pipe right here and it goes underground over to the house. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Put it into the barrel so that we can suck hot water out of the barrel. The other end of the tube, the, this, the other end of this tube is going into the hot water barrel. And now what I need to do is I need to have a pump that's going to pressurize the hot water and it's going to send it out of the shower, which is right here. So this pump right here is a SureFlow. Uh, this is a 12 volt diaphragm pump. And I'm going to hook one side of it. Again, there's an arrow on it that tells you the direction of the flow. One side of it's going to be to my hot water barrel. The other side's going to go out to my shower. So I'll hook that up next. Oh, 
Well, the hose is overflowing. The barrel over there. High handle, right? So on, the, on a shower head, I just bought this shower head at Home Depot. Hot water goes in this side, cold water goes in this side, and it mixes right here in the middle. And so I'm hooking up my hot water feed right here. So now I'm hooking up the electricity to the pump. This is 12 volt uh, power that's just coming from a car battery. Um, the car battery is being charged by solar in the house. Um, but the pump doesn't have to be 12 volts. It could be 120 volts AC coming from the house. Or if you want to use a battery, you can do that too. But they make these pumps to run off of any different kind of electricity. And I should mention that all this tubing is PEX tubing. And it uh, works pretty good. You have to have a crimper to put on the uh, half inch tapered fittings. Um, but you're not supposed to use this in the sun. It's not UV rated and so the sun will break it down. So if you have it in the sun you might want to just put insulation over it, some of the foam insulation from Home Depot and that will protect it from the sun. So now when we make this connection the pump should turn on and it's going to start drawing water from the hot water barrel and it's going to prime this tube right here. If you open up the hot water faucet over there it'll let water go through. You can turn it on. Okay it is on all the way counterclockwise. There you go. All right, now let's see if this turns on. Here it go. So I'm going to put my wire nut on here. There we go. So the pump's now running. As long as the other end of this tube is in water, it should start to draw water over here and it should uh, push all the air out. Might take a few seconds. I wonder if the tube is in the water over there. There's quite a bit of line between my house. There's probably, I don't know, 50 or 60 feet of text tubing. Oh, I can hear water going into the pump. So pretty soon we'll see water coming out of the shower head. And I can see it coming up through the pecs. And there it is. So that's water coming directly from the barrel over there. I'll just let it run for a few seconds to get the air out of the line. Obviously the water's not hot yet because uh, it's only been circulating through the solar panels for a few minutes now. So that looks good. And what happens is when you turn off, it's just getting the air out. I'll let it go for a few more seconds. But I just want to show you when you turn off this, automatically the pump senses that it's prime the line, there's high pressure in the line, and it turns itself off. It's got a pressure switch in it. So that's what's so nice about that pump. You don't have to disconnect it, turn it on and off. It's just when you turn on the water, it demands water, the pump knows to turn on. You can see the air coming through the line. There we go. So that should be good. That's all set to go for hot water. And then what I do for the cold water is I just hook it up to my garden hose. I've got a T on the line right here. So one end goes to the garden or goes to the faucet on the house. And then the other side of the hose, I've just got an adapter here that goes from tapered pipe over to garden hose style. And that's my cold water. And so you just turn on as much hot water and cold water as you need to get the right temperature coming out. That's that. Oh. So this is half inch PEX tubing. That's what I use uh, for most of the hot panel stuff. And this is basically how it goes together. There's a couple of different systems, but I think this is the most common and the simplest and the most available. They have this little metal buckle, and then you take a fitting. This is a half inch NPT fitting going on to half inch tubing. This comes up like that, and then you have a crimping tool that grabs onto the buckle. Uh, let's see here. Puts in like so. And then it comes down, you can see it squeezes onto it. And now it's crimped that together and no leaks. So Keith is taking his very first outdoor solar shower of the season. How is it? Awesome. Come on. Feel, feel like a million bucks? Oh yeah. Best thing ever. <laughs> Good for you.